Hey, how's it going everybody? Miguel Quiles here. I am in my studio and we're doing a fashion editorial look today. We're hoping to submit this to some magazines and uh, wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look at how I work with my team, not just my uh, makeup artist, but my hairstylist and my wardrobe stylist. Uh, give you guys a little bit of a look into how they think and what their uh, mindset is because you know, what a lot of people don't realize is that it's, this is a collaboration, not just between, you know, myself and the model, but just everybody that's involved. And so I want to give you guys an idea of what goes on during a photo shoot, kind of do like a fly on the wall type of uh, perspective to this shoot. So let's go ahead and take a look. So right now we are applying the makeup and the whole idea for the shoot is editorial, color, spring. So I'm trying to blend all of these colors on our model's eyes and kind of put that vision of color and spring and high fashion and just put it in a, into makeup. So I'm focusing mostly on eyes and just giving like a, you'll see later, dewy skin and just a glow. So everything, you know, can be working together with the hair and makeup. Almost like that Vogue look. Um, it's not smooth, but it's um, stylish, it's big. We make a statement with makeup, but with hair also to bring out the colors with the wardrobe. Yes. And um, and her, well, her beautiful skin, because these vibrant colors just like, we want the makeup to stand up, we also, we also want her to stand up. Um, when I'm pulling, I usually try to um, bring the whole mopo that I'm giving from my client, the photographer, the makeup artist, and try to incorporate those colors or silhouettes in the items that I bring. Um, today we have mostly dresses, but I usually try to bring a variety of a top, crop tops, bottoms, skirts, um, just so in case we want to like play around with something different, we have options. to um, use clip-ins earrings when you're doing photo shoot because some models they don't have their earrings pierced so it's not good to assume that everyone has the same costumes that you have of having your peer your ears pierced. Let's uh, take a quick look really fast because I know there's gonna be photographers who are asking me like what's this and what's that so I'll just explain what I'm using. I've got the Sony a7R 3 and I have their uh, vertical uh, battery grip. This is something that I use all the time. Just adds some weight to the camera and it uh, just makes it a little bit easier to hold for shooting portraits. I've got the uh, Sony 100mm 2.8 STF lens. Originally I set out to try a variety of different lenses but it was kind of weird. I just love the look of the 100 whether I was shooting full body or I was shooting mid-length kind of like uh, knees up or waist up. And then of course the close-ups look fantastic. So I think this entire photo shoot, I'm just gonna stick with the 100 because it just looks really good and it's sharp. Um, Profoto lighting all the way. We've got uh, Profoto D2 as the main light. And so far I've added fill to a couple of these images where I basically just have a Profoto B1 uh, with a reflector plate that's just adding a little bit of punch to these shots. Uh, so nothing too crazy. And then I'm pretty fortunate. So HP sent me their um, their new ZBook X2. And so if you guys watched one of my earlier videos, you know I was shooting with the uh, original ZBook that came out, had the seventh generation Intel processor. They sent me this one to check it out to review and there's gonna be a review video either before or after this one. Um, this has the eighth generation Intel processor, so it's a lot faster. Uh, we've been shooting Tether to it and it's just been phenomenal. I mean, it's a, a really killer machine, so keep an eye out for that review. But uh, this is great because as we're shooting, they get to take a look at it. They get to see kind of what we're doing and they don't have to uh, kind of look at it on the back of the screen. And then I could also do really fast edits and adjustments. So um, that's kind of what we've got going right now. Uh, it's just basically this tethered setup. And so, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. We're going to keep shooting. She's 
flowing so I kind of did got inspired by the dress and did like an aqua a little bit of silverish eye with the winged eyeliner but very soft one and just kept the skin very simple and just add highlighter and then the lip kind of tried to match her natural color didn't want to overdo it because the dress it's everything the hair so it's kind of flows so that was like she she progressed into goddess <laughs> yes so this is evening goddess yes she's like maturing maturing yeah this is her in the night that was her in the day yes